Yeah, g'day folks. Lovely day here in Central Australia. Midwinter's day. Temperature's about 18 to 20 degrees. And I thought I'd do a quick video for Cowles Engineering. So I'm not far from a town and I'm having a look at the original telegraph line that was brought through in the 1870s. This line was run from Britain to Australia and it was picked up at Darwin, ran through Central Australia down to Adelaide and the original poles were wooden then they were later replaced with uh, the metal Oppenheimer pole. So there's one down there and I've just turned around and got another one here. I've just come across these remnant poles just recently so I thought we'd have a quick look at them. So they're a galvanised steel pole. Telescopic, so they were able to be carried by camels. And then they, on site they were extended and the poles clamped. And here's one of the clamping points here. We'll go up and have a look at the rest of it. It was a single wire originally, then a few years later a second wire was added on this particular pole, the insulators have long been smashed. But we'll go and look for another pole and, and it should have an insulator, hopefully. Well this is another pole that I found. You can see the broken insulator pieces down here. There's a cast iron support plate. You can read the writing on this one, which is good. Yeah, Siemens of London. Pretty good. This is a little bit different to that other Oppenheimer pole we looked at. This one's a one piece pole. Most likely a later replacement. The original wire was galvanised steel wire, heavy duty, and I think that's a piece that's been thrown up here. And it has a surviving insulator, which is pretty good. Yeah, this is my collection of insulators, mostly telephone and some power types. And this group here basically from the original overland telegraph line that came through central australia in 1872 this unit here is probably the first of the types they used which had a bolt-on clamp on top of a ceramic insulator body then they probably used this type here which is the ceramic job and due to the Aborigines being very fond of using the ceramics to make spear points and things, they had to uh, design a metal guard. So this is what they came up with, particularly on the Central Australian Telegraph Line route. So it's a steel cap, heavily galvanised. And the ceramic insulator is within inside. This one's been, uh, it's missing. This is one I found out bush. Would have been off the original wooden line. It's got the wooden, uh, the spike to go in the wood. And when the line 
probably fell over at some stage for insulator got broken when it hit the ground and was replaced and the and this part was discarded. A few examples of the uh, different styles of wire wrapping on the insulator body. This one here is a lot neater. Typical Australian type of insulator. Come out of all sorts of colours, probably made from recycled glass, I imagine. So you get nice colour variations. I'll put a few insulators as a collection up here. Just different types of ceramics and glass ones I've come across over years. One of my old outside lights I've got. It's starting to get a bit rusty now. <laughs> 